part of what people don't like about dating is it seems like you put so much work into it and you get very little in return. But part of that is our own responsibility because honestly, when you're in a relationship with someone, you have to constantly check out where they are in that relationship. You may believe that a relationship is two people being exclusive, monogamous, that you're together, that you share a life together, that you have plans, you have a vision for the future. However, that is not what everybody thinks. And some people, when they're in a relationship, they really have different boundaries. And it's important you continually check things out. Unfortunately, we don't. We remember what a person said when we first liked them and the news was positive in the relationship. And oftentimes we're afraid to ask them where they are now because we're afraid that we may not like what we hear. You have to be courageous in a relationship. You have to take ownership and you have to be bold in your marriage. You have to be willing to talk to your partner so you can troubleshoot together and make changes because every relationship is a constant dance of change. Let's say you're dating someone and you're just not sure. You're not sure what they're feeling and yet you're afraid to check it out. There are early warning signs when another partner is no longer invested in the relationship. I'm going to go through these. Now, it's important that you don't take what I say literally, that you actually think about it, how they demonstrate the things I say, put it in the context of your relationship, and then be strong enough to bring it up to talk about it. Because once again, if you feel it, but you don't, you just sweep it under the rug, nothing's going to change. And the one thing we know is you can't expect a great relationship you love being part of unless you're going to put the effort in. The first thing is if you feel it in your gut, if you feel in your gut that something's wrong, trust your gut. Intuition is a huge factor in keeping us safe. It's a voice that's in us. It's a smart voice. Listen to it and give it respect. Secondly, um, if you're no longer, your partner's no longer interested in what you have to say, you can barely get them to make eye contact. And when they do from their screen, they, they're just blasé about it. If they're no longer intimate with you, that's usually a sign something's going on. Um, if they don't prioritize you. Now, I'm the first to say work gets in our way and it gets in all of our way. But a project that's going to go on and on and become your new life, you didn't necessarily agree to that in the beginning. That should have been talked about up front. And even then when someone loves you, they should put you first. Um, if you're, if you're the only one putting effort, if you're doing everything, you have everything on your shoulders and your partner doesn't notice and they don't want to help, then that is a sign. An engaged partner is going to have feelers out for his partner. And when they're overwhelmed, he's going to notice that and I, or she, and I don't care how busy they are. They should notice that. If they don't notice it, have the voice to tell them and also have the voice to ask them and tell them you need their help. You need their effort. If they're spending a lot less time with you, if you find that you're alone all the time and they're, they're nowhere to be seen, you can't get a hold of them, can't talk to them, it's a pretty good sign they're checked out. Um, if they cut the time shorter and shorter that you're together, for a lot of people, their love language is quality time. If that used to mean a whole day and now it's cut down to 20 minutes and it's not because of the kids or a work project that you knew was coming, that's a pretty big deal. Uh, if their body language changes, they're no longer warm, they're no longer embracing, kind of standoffish. We all know our partner's body language and our gut knows when it changes. If they're going for longer stretches without contacting you, I mean, when you really love someone, you want to talk to them. You want to check in with them. 
even if they're doing something that you know it's going to be fun, you want to say, hey, I'm here thinking about you. A sweet text just saying, I'm thinking about you, I miss you, you can do anytime and anybody can do that. Um, they don't react when you tell them about other guys or something someone said. They just kind of blase about it. That's usually a sign. And you feel in your heart, in your gut, and you know in your brain that it's really going nowhere. This, this marriage or this relationship is not, does not have a vision. It doesn't have a goal. You're not setting up dates. You're no longer really a team. That's a, those are big signs, guys. And they come through the most incidental everyday things. Now, at this point, you have three options. You can go to therapy by yourself. I always think that's a good place to start because a therapist can kind of be a third party to be objective and it strengthen you so that you'll have the courage to claim what you want and go back and talk to your partner. You can go together if your partner agrees, yeah, we are off track. We need to both get back on track, great. Go to a therapist together. If you're not married, talking to your partner and depending on their response, their lack of interest in the relationship, you can let go. That's really painful, but in the end, it will probably be very wise for you and cut the complication. If you're married, you really do owe it to yourself and your partner to follow through with the integrity of your wedding vow, what you promised before God and the people who love you most, including your partner, and really work it out. Kids do best when they're in a healthy marriage, a healthy family. So with that, take action. The worst thing you can do is maul this over and sit on it. Just send me a comment on the YouTube channel too, because many times I can help guide you to something better. Have an awesome day.